I excited to install this new caliper, but I'm also pleased and thankful that I can install this new caliper. <laughs> This is classy. This is shiny. This is totally the opposite of that. But who cares? By putting this on, we'll spruce up the Kodiak just a little bit. And it'll cause the Kodiak to actually stop. New caliper is making this thing look quite sophisticated. Now I can finally put some brake fluid into the reservoir because now the lines are closed. Before, if I just put fluid in this and just, it would have made a huge mess. Time to top her off, baby. Oh wow, she's bone dry. <laughs> accomplished. I bled the brakes so the caliper is working fine. Now I'm heading towards the front and going to complete these brakes. That way, when we're ready to go, we can stop after I want to go. I just, I want brakes. Now brakes aren't for winners, but brakes do stop you from hitting trees and other obstacles. Here is the other front caliper that was placed on the back as you guys know, but now I'm going to position it in the right place. So when you're doing brakes, what you do is you, you put your caliper on, and my master cylinder's up here, you can't see that right now, but basically the master cylinder pumps fluid into the caliper, which causes the caliper to grab onto your rotor. And then once you have everything installed, then you have to bleed the brakes. You have to get all the air out of the line so that it works like a hydraulic system. So right here you have your bleeder. Now on four-wheelers, sometimes you can just play with the brake lever, like pull in, let go, pull in, let go, like a couple dozen times, and sometimes it'll actually bleed itself because air wants to go up where fluid wants to come down, you know, density, and then there's other times you have to do it like a vehicle, where you have to actually push the brake in, undo the bleeder screw, tighten the bleeder screw back up, and then release and do that process over and over and over again, or you can get yourself a bleeder vacuum pump kit. And basically you let this do all the sucking for you so it, so it sucks the fluid from the master cylinder, which is up top, and brings it down to the caliper with a nice steady flow of fluid. Bleeding brakes isn't fun, but brakes, like I said, are very important. saw me start to mess with this thing but what you guys didn't see is I actually tore all the components out of this sucker and with one a different year I salvaged some parts out of this some parts out of the existing one and I ended up making it work this switch is made for a different year so that one wouldn't work with this one but then and the old one didn't have the actual starter it had this makeshift starter just sitting to the right right up here so now we have all our controls right here they do work I'll even turn on the key and show you. I'll prove it to you. So there's the low beam and the dash is on. There's the high beam and the dash is on. Lights are off. Dash is off. Kill switch on. Doesn't work. Kill switch off. <laughs> Works. So I'm really excited about that. Now the best news is, is we're only down to two more new parts. Wow, they are new. I was going to say brand used, but they are they are new, like fresh in the box. That one's even genuine. Now honestly, if this was like a 700cc or like a 600 or 650cc, I probably would have taken this whole thing differently. I would have first of all started with getting everything all set like I am right now and then start buying like aftermarket tires and rims and basically soup this thing up and make it one hell of a machine. But instead, it's only 400 cc's, so I'm not going to invest some huge money into it. What I would really like to do is get rid of this grill because as you can see, it's held together with like 16 zip ties and some overspray spray paint and it's just cracked everywhere. I'd like to get rid of that and like put some light bars or maybe a custom bumper on it or something. 
I just don't want to invest so much time into this thing that it's like it's already consumed a lot of my time. You guys know that. I don't want to make this a lifelong project. But I am glad to say that we are very, very close to reinstalling everything in this pile. I mean, it looks really far from being all together right now. All the fluids are changed. All the brakes are good. All the electronics are ready to go. We know the thing does run. You can see why my excitement is increasing as we speak. Here's my old pet cock. And here's my new pet cock. I managed to get my pet cock back on along with the turn thingy. I couldn't find this, so I made an absolute mess. I threw all the plastic around, but that's okay. We're not gonna clean it up today anyways, because I'm going bowling with Jake the Toilet Snake and his family, and my family. It's gonna be a good time. Now I have some news, but not as good of news as that. And that is, we're down to one last part, you guys. I'm stoked. And the air filter. Granted, we do have a lot of work in store for us because like the back rack is bent, the front rack is shot, and then the entire front grill assembly, you guys saw that. I, I wanna either plastic weld that, come up with something else there. So I'm not quite sure how much longer it's going to take, but just know that we're, let's just say we can see the light. My family and I are about to take off any minute to go bowling, but before we do that, I'm going to do some fan mail. Hopefully they don't take off without me. Last fan mail, Mike sent this to me. It's a mini drone. Mike, it's very hard to drive. Or fly, whatever you want to call it. Jeez! Ah! Mike, it's extremely fun, thank you. But before I rip my fingers off, let's do some fan mail. Dalton, included in this envelope, please find a helmet shield from my fire department. Wouldn't mind seeing it on your wall. We can make that happen. And a couple key change to remind you to keep the hammer down. Drive fast, Jason. <laughs> Thank you, Jason. Dear 3D Machines, hi, my name is Owen D. Thank you, Owen. You are my favorite YouTuber ever. I decided to send you a custom upper license plate to put on your Duramax. I watch all your videos and keep them coming. Your friend Owen. Thanks, Owen. I could get in trouble with this. It's even got a sharpening stone on it. This guy's all about preparation. Who do we have to thank for this awesome fan mail? Hello doll, my name is Kyle Dunn. Thank you, Kyle. I'm 12 years old from Alabama. I ride a KX102 Joker. I love your videos and look forward to seeing them every day. When you hit 500,000 subscribers, I would like to see you get a KX250 two-stroke. And always remember to keep it fly and brap on. Thank you, Kyle. I hope you guys enjoyed this fan mail slash 3D Machines production. I gotta go to the bowling alley. We're heading out. Until tomorrow, 3D Machines out! <laughs> no, I'm not playing with my drone, I'm coming! <laughs>